so they'll be calling you a radical. So everywhere I go, all the talk here is Damian Lillard. Hey, Flash, what do you think? So here about a week ago, all the rumor, because I'm friends with all the basketball players, all the rumor was flying around that it was going to be Milwaukee. I'm like, well, that would be Lillard's best case scenario, you know. And so, I think he'll fit in there. Oh yeah, big time. Cold winters. Well, he lived here in the winter of 2010, 2011. That was a winter. So, I've never been a fan of Damian Lillard's business practices, his sports merchandising. But really, is that Damian Lillard? Is that Nike? It's Nike. Always been a fan of his game. Oh, yeah. I did the play-by-play -play when he played here. Now, he's never got a chance to win a championship, has he? Well, here, again, that historic game where they had 23 points at home in the Big Sky Championship in the second half and lost. I know people here that sold their, well, got rid of their season tickets and would said they'll never come back after that game. That wasn't his fault. That was Randy Ray's fault. He was leading the country, leading the country in free throws. By the way, we'll get back to it. Uh, he's never got a chance to win anything. Tell now. Tell now. So, Weber State never recruits Weber County players. We have lots of great By the way, the greatest Weber County player in history, put him in the fucking... Hall of Fame already. Put him in the Hall of Fame. I, I grew up with him. The great Tom Chambers. How is he not in the Hall of Fame? He almost played here, but didn't. But the last time we had a scholarship player from Weber County, I believe was Eddie Tillman. I sat with Eddie Tillman right before he passed away. I used to sit at the games with him. And, uh, he's a local, but to be honest with you, I think he maybe went to high school at Davis. I'm not sure. But so have we ever really had a scholarship player here? Well, we had Byron Russell's dad, his real father, who won two national championships. That was when they were at JC, down there in the old Deseret Gym, Weber County Gym, that Leslie Hudson, Matt, sitting vacant for 20-something years. Alan Holmes is his real father. Yeah, he's from here, Byron Russell. So... My high school coach, baseball coach, Dick Conley won a national championship up here, but that was in, they were at JC then. So has this been the longest dry spell they've ever gone without going to the NCAA tournament? They've gone to the NCAA tournament 16 times. And remember, that's back when it was a field of 32. I think they went five or six years in a row, you know, this legendary program, Phil Johnson. Dick Motter, Ron Bagel. So, Coach Duff just went up the rung about 500 rings with me. They signed my neighbor, the Hanson kid, Fremont High School. He lives right by me. It's going to be a good. Now, Braden coaches here now. He was a walk on, he never played. He was a Brad. I'm glad he's coaching here. So, this is the longest dry spell they've ever went without going to the tournament. Last time they went was 2016. No, they had about a 10 year spread from uh, 84 to, I believe, 95. You know, those great Ronald Bagland teams. Heartbreaking losses after heartbreaking the water's curse. Them. Here's the eminent domain spot right here. Yeah. So when they built this incredible, state of the art, magnificent building, you know, the merger of G and Utah Construction, the billionaires, Elizabeth D. Shaw donated all the money, basically a billion dollars. Then, let's think about the day standards. Remember the beautiful archway made of copper, beautiful thing, the light life, what they tore down? Well, how about this? When they built this, they took these houses, people's homes right here under eminent domain. Okay. Did you know they sold this property? They want to build, there was this beautiful oak brush here they just tore it out. They sold it to build a hotel? That's illegal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't care how many years ago. You can't take somebody's property 
homes, their houses they live in, claim eminent domain, okay, you can do that. But you sure can't do it for a while and then say, oh, whoops, are bad. Now we're going to sell your property. I don't think so. State legislature's got a problem there. You think? Well, welcome to corrupt Hoover County. So, well, corrupt Utah. So, lowered ahead by 23 points in the second half. Anthony Johnson never missed a field goal or a free throw in the second half. Years later, he did an interview right here and said, because he never did that before, never did that. Had an out of body experience. I grew up right here. This was really hallowed, sacred ground. Really Shoshone native lands. They used to call it the Shoshone word. They call me so, so good. But that culture's been, I mean, don't even give me who's taking the field on that. It was a Shoshone word. I'm not sure what it was for shadow because it curves here. This is the biggest deer I ever saw was right over there. And, uh, 1978, right there where Smith's is. Now. This was all, there wasn't really anything here. You know, per se, all the way out to the old Wilshire and then Hinkley's cattle ranch out there. Yeah, that Hinkley. So, head by 23 points in the second half, so I'm screaming, I'm doing the play-by-play. -play. You, I mean, I'm just yelling my head off, keep the ball in fucking little jam. Keep the ball in little jam. He would pass, they fouled. Got a couple players that could not make a free throw. And you know how college basketball comes, tournaments. <laughs> it comes down to making free throws. Remember when Ruben, I was at that game. Emhart 95, that great team. I think they would have won the Final Four. Missed the front end. Someone inside the locker room, I remember, says, that one just cost you a couple million bucks. And then they lost on the Hail Mary to Iverson when he was a freshman. I think that was a Final Four team. I really believe that was the best team they ever had. They had a great Utah on that team, but he wasn't Weber County. So they, Eric called him on the phone because he was committed to Utah State, which everybody does here. Ask the vigil boys that are playing the NFL. They want to play football Weber State. They had to go up the mountain. So everybody does because Weber State for years refused to recruit a local player. Jay Hill turned that around. Look at all the great local players. In fact, what do we got? Three local players playing professional football off the same team. All locals. John Williams, Adam Rodriguez, and uh, Mr. Opeta. I was at Pro Day when Opeta. By the way, I didn't draft any, including Rashid G. So that's the next thing. We got to get Rashid traded. Saints won't play him. You know why the Saints won't play him? I can tell you. And this is Deion Sanders right about this. I've been screaming this for years, which you know. Everybody that's been following along with me. NFL colludes against schools like Weber State. Ask Cooper Cup. He all that then some that, I mean that great photograph of Cup against DJ. I mean TJ got drafted because of a connection with the Bills, blah blah, and well, look where he went. Look where Cup won the draft. Are you kidding? I thought for sure he was, you know, top five or ten draft picks because it's guaranteed money in the verdict. If you don't draft these guys, none of it's guaranteed. Throw them on the practice squad. And it's collusion among the NFL. Deion Sanders says the exact same thing. It's true. It's been proven. Now, the NBA, a little different. I mean, Lillard, and I love how the media now toss him. The media gave Lillard no love here, including the Audit Sanders. Then. None. KSL, Kate, none. It was all Jimmer, 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 Jimmer. That's all we heard. It was pitiful. I knew what he was right off the gate. I remember this friends of mine was in Wendover gambling. We're around and gun. I said, bet the Jazz. Weber State has a, this is when Little was a freshman. I'm like, they got an NBA player on their team named Damian Lillard. He was so heavily recruited. Get real. I watched his high school tapes. I knew what he was. So, this whole path and this incredible purple palace that the D family built Probably the greatest philanthropist in Western United States history. Now, how they made money, that's a whole different thing. But, you know, he died young in his heir. The football stadium's in after her. This is, they built this. How about the multi-billion dollar hospital I just came from? So, 
the greenwashing bus. This is where everybody parks now. So, I think I've never been a fan of Lillard's what he's done with, as far as sports merchandising and his money and his career, but you know, what with the NBA? So, everybody around here, everywhere, I just came from the hospital, you know, so they're eating everybody. I mean, I don't care where I go. That's all anybody's talking about. Everywhere. My grandson says at school, that's all everybody was talking about yesterday. So, will he win it? I mean, it's the first time he has a real shot. His next year, you know, I was full of cancer. I ended up in the bone marrow transplant in 2011, 2012. I came out, got to go to one game here with my nurse. I was, could barely walk, could barely move. That bracket buster game. I think it was a little bit the best game. I could hardly move. I was skinny, sucked up, almost dead. And uh, they won that bracket buster. But Montana had that great year, that cherry kid. They both had these incredible records. I don't know how Montana won it that year, and they had to go up there. And at the end of that game, you could see Little was pissed. That's when he started logo Little, which we always knew he could do that. Or any wouldn't let him. This league is so highly competitive and so hardcore. I mean, it's like I talk about Big Sky Football, the best cup secret. Well, the real Big Sky Football is played in that building. Oh, if you've never watched Big Sky Basketball, it is so physical. It is so intense. I think that's why they all excel so much in Europe. All, these coaches all know each other too well. These programs know each other too well. I mean, they overcoach to the 10th power. And they beat the shit out of each other. It's so physical and X is over. I think that's why these players excel in Europe. By the way, Jerry Hardy had his shoulder worked on, but he's playing in the secret banking city on the French freaking Spain border. It's one of the richest cities in the world. He only shot 62% last year in Europe as a guard. You heard me right. He's not a center. 62. So, Lord's going to get his... We should walk over there. God, do I got to walk? Yeah, you're going to make me walk further. Yeah. Let's walk over here. They got this right. Some of them they do have right around here. So, Eric went way up the ladder with me. He called him. You know, I watched, he played with my nephew, Christian, who's the defensive player of the year. And, uh, of course, they're both. It'll be two years because they're both going on missions. But anyway, Christian's going to play here. You know, they played together at Fremont High School. You know, so it, this is probably the first time I can ever remember a Weber County, born and raised, played at his school, going to be signed to a scholarship. I don't ever remember one since they've been in this program, which I've always threw a fit about it. Now, I know they recruited a few over the years. You know, Miller up at Ben Loman. He ended up going down to Mexico. And, of course, Tom Chambers was recruited here. And I thought for sure he'd come here. But I love what this young Hanson said. He said, I've been going to these games my whole life. It's been my dream to play here. So it's a big deal. Let's walk over here. This is something they got right here at the Purple Palace. I've watched so many great basketball in here. Arnie Farron, remember, was head of the committee. So we were got a lot of love. Remember that team in 1980? They were 60. Got beat by a team named Lamar. Who was that? A guy they never heard of named Billy Tubbs. I watched Jason Kidd's last game in there when the Cheeseheads knocked up Cal. I saw Jason Kidd's last high school game in Arco in California. I saw Jimmy V in the second round cut down the nets, 83. Oh, my God, how powerful was that? I saw David Robinson play in this building in the tournament. I think they got upset. Didn't Hawaii beat him or did they? I know that maybe played Hawaii. Anyway, all these great athletes and these great players that came through here, we don't get those games anymore here. Marina's not big enough. 11,500 is not enough for the greedy bastards. They need, next thing you know, they'll be putting them in outdoor arenas where they can hold a million. They'd say, so greedy, it's sickening. You know, so, um, and the NFL, they don't give guaranteed money. Look at Rashid, what he's making. Why do you think they don't play him every down? They know 
I mean, why did I caught him? Every time he touches the ball, he scores touchdowns. So don't let him get the ball. Because the more touchdowns, because we want to well, resign him, but we don't want to give him his contracts up at the end of the year. He was undrafted, by the way. Made the power spot by that much. So, I mean, unbelievable. They have this right. Joe Ballin boy. He's an international figure because he stood up to the born and raised in Ukraine, number 21. He stood up to Russia to bat. He sued bat. He got it when Bridget Griner was going in, he was going out. Of course, the incredible Jeremy Siegland. Oh, my God. Lillard. He went undefeated in the big sky. That's him in the white shirt. Jeremy Boyette. Yeah. All that. All that. I still say that's the greatest player in the history of this school, bar none. I had my Harding shirt on this morning, and I found this at Savers the other day. Last time they went to the tournament. The longest dry spell in this school's history? Getting there. Getting there, so it'll be eight years if they can go. The longest dry spell of Miss NCAA tournament's 10. I think they went five years in a row in the 60s under, well, Phil Johnson. Oh, what a coach. What players. You know. So, we're all, ex including me, I hope he proves me wrong. You know, because I've always called it the Wattis curse. And I know, Damien, I mean, I t you saw me. I was the first one in line. Had him sign my KWCR shirt. And the reason I, I could have had him sign anything. I have his first ticket and first game he ever played. I already knew what, I knew what he was. I signed my KWCR 88.1 the beat. Sure, why? Because 88.1 the beat's over. They killed it. They got rid of one. I was in the bone marrow transplant. That's the shirt I had on in that infamous game. It wasn't his fault. You got the best for you to keep the ball in his hands, but they didn't. So Eric just went up a thousand notches with me. When he back, Odom left and this kid backed out at Utah State, he got on the phone, called him personally. Wow. Randy Ray would have never done in a million years. Never. So, that's incredible Jerry Cardi. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw him play. He was a freshman. And he got in, and it was the second half, and he went along the baseline. Dribble drive. All the way along, and he did this reverse, I don't even know what it was, where he spun in the air, switched hands above the rim. He's six foot tall. I was like, whoa. Oh, oh. Oh. Tiny, tiny Nate Archibald on Balco. Whoa. So, all these years, all this work I've done at Weber, I didn't plan on getting stayed here. I was working on my PhD, getting ready to teach in Austria, in Vienna. You know, that was the plan. I was getting ready to go. I got run over by the bus, called cancer in 2011. Basketball team all knew that. You know, I remember when Lillard broke his foot, but I did the play-by-play. -play. You know, this year, so... The only person that's ever really walked up to me, I mean, come up to me, was Dylan Jones this year. Just the other day, saw me at the football game. Walked up to me. Kev, how you feeling? How you doing, man? Because he knows about my heart attack. Of course, and the great Clowkey. Clowkey, who does the play-by-play -play for the radio station. We love that guy. His partner is David Patton. What a player he was. I think that's the last time they went to the tournament, wasn't it? 2007? No. I mean, under that regime. Then, of course, Randy came in here early and went 2014-2016. Remember Ball and Boys come back against Arizona? That, of course, that 2017 was where David Patton had to play Ben Howland's team. You see, I, was, I rode on the plane with Ron McBride to that game. It's the biggest blowout I ever saw. Oh, my God, it was just terrible. Ugh, don't even get me going. March basketball was not Randy Ray's strong point. You think? You think? We'll see if it's Eric Dubs. But that's a big move in the right direction around here. That's how Jay Hill turned around the football program, the most corrupt thing you've ever seen. Jay Hill came in here, started recruiting local players. How many local players are on that football team right now? Half the team. The, that 2018-2017 team, which is the greatest team in Weber State history since they've been up here anyway, since 1925, Walcott Morris, all local players. I mean, of course, Rashid Shahid, he's from 
San Diego. But oh, Pettis Stansbury High School. Jonah Williams is kicking ass in the NFL. Isn't he Northridge High School? You know, we're just loaded with him. Adam Rodriguez. And then, of course, TJ, he's from Oakland. But, uh, please trade Rashid Jaheed Saints. Please. They won't blame. You know, so his contemporaries, which there really aren't any, who can run kicks like him, and he never drops a pass. He's got the most yards per catch. He never drops one ever comes to him. They don't throw to him. His timbers are making between 10 and 20 million a year. He's making 800,000 because they steal these players. So not Lillard. You know, Lillard's stock really rose late, you know. I always felt if he'd have won that game, either one of those big side championships, the second year was up in Montana, but if he'd have won that game here, I always felt he'd be the number one pick in the NBA. I said it the whole time he was here. He, he's like the best player I ever saw. But until Jerry Carding came along. You know, and that's saying a lot with Sieglin. How about Scotty Bamforth? I guess they don't have it right. Where's he? Where's he? What number did he wear here? Didn't he wear four? Him and uh, that other great player that wore number four. Mr. Gill, Eddie. Oh, my God, what a player. And how about Harold Arsenal of the show? He wore 21. But I still say Jerry Carden is the greatest player in the history of this basketball program, you know. That's saying a lot, but do I think Lillard will win it? Everybody's asking me. Yeah. I think this is going to be his first real chance in his life. I remember he was so poor here, he'd borrow five bucks to go get a freaking piece of pizza right there. Bye. You know, now he's a billionaire, but... I've never been a fan of his sports merchandising, but really, is that him or is that Nike? You know, he does a lot for here. The kids around here love him, and I mean love him. Because he does that game here and he signs stuff. There's a Dylan right there, ain't it? Yeah. And so, Dylan Jones will be a superstar in the NBA. I call him, I, I'm the guy that named him Dylan Magic Jones. Remember when he knocked out the ref in the first game accidentally? So he's developed his game along the way. I talked to the coach the other day, and I said, well, you know, I call him Dylan Magic Jones because that's what he is. He's in, He's got his own position. The guy plays center and point guard on the same, I mean, and everything in between. But he's developed this at the rim like Adrian Downey. You know, these, I forget how young these guys are. Well, oh, God, you're old. I, said, I guess I am old. But Frank Layden used to come to these games and sit with me, and I'd get him to do the car. Hey, Frank. I remember one time I'm sitting here, people saying, Utah, he ain't coming to Utah. I have to tell this story to Nazia. During the play-by-play, -play, Lord's in the boot with his broken foot. And a Utah Jazz scout comes walking through the Purple Palace there. That is doing. And he says, what are you doing here, Frank? said scouting a player and he says yeah yeah we're scouting a player here well who are you scouting i can't remember if it was eastern washington or montana state or i can't remember but he's like we're parting this player from eastern montana and i look right at that scout and i says your nba player sitting right there we were sitting there in his boot and the scout laughed literally I remember Frank Lade just shaking his head. I says, what do you think, Frank? And he says, I think the, the Utah Jazz, the people that run that show, I got their heads up there. I says, you think? <laughs> what do you think he scores 40 or 50 on him every time he plays him? I used to tell everybody, go bat him when he plays Utah in his younger years because he's going to go psycho. I mean, he's got he's one of those guys with the mind like a trap. He's one of those. I mean, he's one of those guys the first time you meet him, you just kind of know. It's like Dylan, the first kind, you know, like that linebacker we have now, Winston Reed, like Rashid Shahid, the first time I met him when he was a freshman. So, I remember I said, do you go by Rashid or Rashad? <laughs> but anyway, so I want to get this. We were saying it's going to be excellent this year. They're going to be very good. They're loaded. Dylan Magic Dantley Jones, I call him. First rounder in the NBA, no doubt. He was a second rounder last year and decided to come back. 
he's all that. So, so is Lillard as far as his game. I've never been a fan of his business model, whatever, but whatever. The sports merchandise. I bought this at Savers the other day. Last time they went to the tournament, 2016. That's the same day that I got sick, my heart failed. So I'd been at the Bernie Sanders and the Donald Trump rally that day. And stood in line, stood in line, it was hot. And I got in up real close to Bernie, and I want to ask him about the Fukushima disaster. This is the house that the nuclear industry built. I'm in the belly of the beast. And I'm yelling, Bernie, you going to die about Fukushima? And everybody around me is telling me to lower my, I'm like, lower my voice at a fucking political rally? This is the left in the country. Yeah. So then I went down to the psycho Trump rally. Oh, my God. Holy shit, was that insane. Anyway, so I worked and worked and worked and finally you know, figured out where he was coming in. And I got from about here to the flagpoles from him, as close as I could get. And Fox, the only reason I knew is I followed Fox News' cameras. I know they got a tip. They got a tip because I seen them running. So I followed him and I got over there and they're live. And I'm yelling, Trump, you're going to talk about Fukushima. You're not. Yes. Went in. So I come home and I drove back and I got to Smith's right there. Pulled in the parking lot, and I'll never forget it. I stepped out of the parking lot, and I was like, boom. I mean, I've almost staggered. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Oh, my God, what was that? And I went in and got a juice. Went over to Weber State. You know, we had a little party over there in the Union to watch the game in 2016. And I was like, I was against Xavier. And then after the game, that's when Randy was under negotiations. I was over in the parking lot, and I see him walking through Kev, and I'm like, what the fuck, Randy? What happened? And he's same old line. Well, we just weren't good enough. I mean, what do you mean good enough? They lost in the next round to a team, Western Union. What the fuck are you talking about? We, Kevin, we don't get the players like when you work for Coach Blake and brother. What are you talking about? I don't get the fucking players like Coach Blake. You mean like fucking Damian Lord? I threw my shit down and I walked off. It's kind of where Randy and I's relationship soured. Because we were pretty close to him, man. I was just pissed. He never wanted to win in March. We'll see, duh, but that's a big step. So, of course, you know my heart started to fail then. I had open heart surgery on the 7th. So this winter, I sat right here in the hospital, and the doctors all know me, and they gave me a window seat. So I guess you look up here at the DMN Center while they're playing. Clowkey on the air says, hey, we want to give a call out to Kevin Blanche. He's right over there fighting for his life, you know, with his heart. And then, like I said, as soon as I came out, I came to a game, could barely walk got in there again for the second time first thing i went to was the weaver state basketball game two it was my favorite by the way i love that kid and uh dylan both walk up you okay god i can't believe it you all right so the other day at the rally and everybody that that's the kind of person that dylan that's why he will be a superstar in the nba i'll guarantee it I'll guarantee it. Kev, how you feeling, man? I'm getting there. It's taken me a long time. I'm getting back. I'm on this routine. A lot of walking, as you know, at the hospital every fucking day. So, anyway, everybody's buzz. I mean, everybody is stoked and fired up about it. I mean, really, it, it will be lowered. For, will we win it? And I'm not going to go buy no buck shit. I mean, I'll go down to Savers, see him find some old buck stuff, you know, with his number on it. Oh, for Ogden. Oh, for Oakland. Oh, for Oregon. I'm so glad he got away from that trouble. I don't like that trouble as his organization. That has a lot to do with Microsoft and, you know, Paul Allen, who died of the same disease I had, and what Paul Allen was up to with his yacht. And he was connected with Maxwell. And don't even get me going. I do not like that organization. So this whole sports merchandising thing is over the top. You know, so Milwaukee, I think he fits in good there. I mean, I think it's his kind of town. I really think he'll fit in well. I think he'll love it there. And they'll love him. And, I mean, cold winters, fuck. He spent the winter of 2010, 11 here. He knows what it is. Maybe I'll walk in and go to practice today. I don't know. I might. So, yeah, i got to go football practice. Football season. Hey, basketball, yeah. Getting close, so. Dylan Magic, or no, Dylan Dantley Magic Jones. 
Oh, you want to see something? Because he's developed that at the rim. I mean, he's developed that M1 at the rim. It's just like Dantley was in the day. And if you don't think Andrew Dantley was all that, you don't know shit. Oh, he was all that. It's like Ricky Green. Fast as a mall. John Stock, there'd never be a John Stockton was for Ricky Green. Who do you think, Toddy? You know? So, go prove us all wrong, Lillard. Hope he wins it. You know, they all make way too much money. It's disgusting, but at least it's guaranteed money in the NBA, not in the NFL. Trade Rashid. They won't get Rashid the fucking ball. Trade him. Let him shine. You know, Peyton already come out in Denver, said he wanted him. Why not? I mean, if you're not going to play him, fucking trade him. All right. Load it to the Bucks. Go team. Do I think it will win it? Yeah. Stay in tune